architecture, uh, um, designing a building, like how the structure should be like. I only know like architecture is about buildings and yeah, buildings and designing. And how you position things to make it aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. That is my idea, but uh, probably this workshop can change my idea. I don't know. You could call it a crash course in architecture, or really a playground of wild ideas. In a nutshell, Design My Place is a workshop by young architects for school students. It runs them through a compact three-day design process, which inspires them to reimagine their neighbourhood. If you set your mind to it, you will see it and you will find it. Okay? And, and ideas are like that. You, if we open ourselves up to ideas, we will find it. It all starts with exploring the neighbourhood. The students fan out to five sites to listen, observe, and interview people in a community to take the pulse of the place. The data that they have gathered on the ground is pinned up to form a matrix of information, fresh off the streets. Serene Centre is this quite laid-back place compared to like other uh, uh, shopping centres these days. She comes to the temple three days a week. Yeah, she drives down, she thinks the place has a special meaning to her. And he's not happy about the on block, which will take place next year, February to March. But according to her, now they are more police, so not so bad. <laughs> and then we also ask this other woman. Okay. S W O T. Okay, can anyone tell me what is one of the strength of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats? The students rapidly analyze the site using this planning framework. I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to come up with the most number of strengths for your area. Ready? Go. <laughs> Just pick five of the ideas that you think you like and you feel good about. Yeah? Recognize that feeling and vote for it. And what we're going to do to the wrong way is that we're going to hang the tempo kind of uh, publicity things. I mean, it could be the red lantern or the. Uh, we're thinking of having a. <gasps> we're having a multi <laughs> story kind of building so you can have a lot of other entertainment. Ask yourself, you know, what you. You know, as a student, what kind of space you, you want and develop along that line. Are those uh, great ideas? After the initial analysis, the students return to site to investigate further. It's then back to studio to get their creative juices flowing. We, you know, just sketch whatever we observe, then we came up with this kind of, yeah, drawings. Yeah. Before I did this, I like, didn't really go and notice that that road is like so inconvenient. And now it was like, that road really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There are two problems that she may need. One is the accessibility of the temple. Um, it's quite out of way. Maybe you propose that the canal is changing to something. You really looks quite ulu there. Very, very ugly. Which one? Yeah, Which one? The, the, last, the last part. Wow. <laughs> it's basically in the center of the whole area, the housing estate. So we see the potential of it being a kind of how we put it, community centre, like where people can come and congregate. And what we're doing is like, we're trying to create um, certain landmarks and walkways that can link to the temple. Most of the ideas, right, they actually came up to sky gardens, which are on the bridges. Y'all have moved very, very fast, also in, in, in the distance. 
design, even taking into the whole consideration of the canal, which I really like how you incorporate the canal, even the even to the other side of the coronation, which I think will create possibilities of your collaborating with people from the coronation side. The students have brainstormed a master plan that will unite all their projects. Based on that plan, they now have to rapidly flesh out their ideas. Okay, so we need drawings and models, okay? So can we take a distance of drawings and models? I think it's great. I think yeah, lots of ideas and uh, fantastic effort. All in one hour. Fantastic. So um, what we want to do is that these three buildings will actually somewhat be the gem of the whole community itself. So we are thinking of actually carrying it and um, putting glass box down there so that installations can be set up. The point of our temple is to be a bit uh, accessible but yet hidden. So if there's a sense of discovery when people reach our temple. The, the tunnel will be uh, Types. One is uh, under the water and one is under the ground. So you can see through it's like an aquarium. We will need to document the overall and then to, to choose one or two aspects to elaborate that will form our final presentation to the powers beyond. The workshop culminates in a presentation to a panel of architects, academics, urban planners and community leaders. We wanted to use the canal and put life into the canal. To attract residents to Wharton Estate, we propose, um, we propose connecting it to the area surrounding it with this kind of um, jogging and cycling track. We'll take this Adam Food Centre as a headquarters and like the, the mothership and then all these little the guns, these little stalls, these little babies. If you look at the model, it's actually the after the after the extreme makeover. What will it will look like? Um, look, the garden and extra facilities. You know, we live in a very highly monetized world. Someone will say that's a beautiful plot of land. <laughs> On block the temple. <laughs> I think another aspect that is quite interesting is the way you do the intervention. It's very sensitive. It's a different approach. That one is quiet and sensitive. You guys are the fun bunch and embrace that attitude. Extensions, connections and wild interventions. By the end, the students have generated hundreds of ideas, five proposals and one fresh new master plan for the whole neighbourhood. All this happens within three days of intense creativity. I think actually my mind was uh, lines, drawings, very boring, tedious work. So I thought it would be quite boring cause. But then in the end come here, it's like, whoa, such a different side of architecture and everything. So like, I uh, really learned a lot and got a lot more interested in architecture. The atmosphere is really good, I would say. Like, fun, but not... Fun, but not, fun, but not like, unrestricted. It's very tiring, but somehow it's fun that you don't really... Yeah, fulfilling. I think we have learned a lot, okay. yeah.